12 years ago, before I was a realtor and knew anything about real estate, let alone about new construction, my husband and I bought our first home and it was new construction. Only except our house didn't exactly look like that one, it looked more like this one. Actually, this is the house that we bought. This is our house. This house doesn't really look like your brand new dream home, huh? So what could have possibly gone wrong? Hi, my name is Elena Kavrigan. This is my name. This is my job title. This is a subscribe button that you might want to click and this is my hashtag. You know what to do. In this video, I'm going to give you seven different tips when it comes to buying new construction so that you don't make the same mistakes we did 12 years ago. One of the first questions to ask is who's gonna represent who. So 12 years ago when we started looking for houses, this lovely lady offered me to show this new construction home that was just a few weeks from being completed. Later on she got really upset with me because our own realtor, who by then we had established established relationship with, presented an offer on our behalf. Turns out this lovely lady was a realtor and she was representing a builder. Mind you, back then I was not a realtor, I had no clue what's going on, so I, I did not know. By the way, I have a link about who a realtor works for and it's down there in the description. Anyways, unless you look in at those new construction homes with your own realtor, chances are the person who's showing you those houses represents a builder or a developer and he or she is not working for you, at least not yet. So my advice, keep your mouth shut. You can't tell me to shut up. Uh, I think I just did. <laughs> and uh-oh, here it comes again, shut up. Do not disclose your personal information, such as financing and your motivation. Do not tell them how much you qualified for, because that's gonna lower your negotiation power and you don't wanna do that. Unlike regular real estate, new construction can be at various stages of construction and that brings me to tip number two. You need to ask a question what stage of construction this house is in. Believe it or not, new construction homes can be advertised starting when the ground is just broken all the way to the end product when the house is moving ready and is 100% complete. There's a couple reasons why you might want to ask about stage of construction and the uh, projected completion date. Reason number one is that you're going to have to put an offer on this house and you're going to need to put a closing date. Closing date is tentative, it might be a little sooner, it might be a little later, but you're still going to have to come up with the date. And another reason is that you're probably going to have to have a mortgage, unless you are among those 30 or 35% of people who do not need mortgage and gonna pay cash for this transaction, you're gonna have to communicate with your lender so that your mortgage lender can process your loan application and put you in your brand new house on time. So 12 years ago when we closed in our house we ended up with this. A house with zero landscaping, a bathroom mirror was missing, front and back door were not painted and a bunch of other small cosmetic imperfections. And that's because neither us nor our realtor knew to ask this next important question. Which brings me to item number three, selections and upgrades. Looking at a house that is still under construction, there might be time for you to make some of the selections and potentially upgrades. By selections, I mean things like uh, choosing your exterior interior color, picking your color of your carpet, tile, hardwood floors, cabinets, uh, countertops and things like that. By upgrades, I mean things like upgrading from carpet to hardwood floors, upgrading countertops to granite, to, to different levels of granite, putting some stonework around fireplace and things like that. Make sure you understand that upgrades will cost you more money. Side note, uh, let's say you made all your selections and you're happy with them, and then a month from then, you are not really sure about that hot pink exterior color of your house, so you want to change it. Some builders might charge you change order fee. It can range from just a couple hundred dollars up to thousands of dollars. So you want to make sure you ask a question uh, whether uh, the builder charges that change order fee or not. If you ask this question, it will save you time, frustration, and money. 
tip number four ask if there will be more houses constructed around or near your house new construction is usually associated with lots of construction noise traffic and dirt and dust you might feel like you're gonna live in a construction zone for quite a while if there are more houses that will be constructed right next to you a few years after we became homeowners, I became a realtor. And not just a realtor who specializes in the residential real estate, but one of my first big jobs was to represent a builder and a developer at a new home community. That was quite a learning experience. It opened up my eyes to a lot of things. It brought a lot of memories uh, about our own experience and a lot of frustration along with it. But, I lived through that, I learned, and I'm here to tell you the truth. <laughs> so this brings me to item number five, builder's warranty. In the state of North Carolina, every new construction should come with one year builder's warranty. The only way to have this builder's warranty enforced is to have it in writing. And when you and your realtor put an offer on a new construction home, you can either use regular offer to purchase with a new construction addendum or use a special new construction offer to purchase form. That way all the boxes about builder's warranty will be checked. Builder's warranty will not be implied, but in fact be there to protect you. Item number six, home inspections. Yes, even on new construction. When you buy a brand new house, you want it to be brand new and perfect. And those home inspectors can find every little imperfection and every little thing that the builder might have missed and you have all the rights to turn around and bring these items back to the builder or the de developer and ask for the repairs also i always recommend my clients to do radon inspection remember radon is found in all parts of north carolina not the matter of if you have it, it's a matter of how much you have it. By the way, I have a video about radon as well. The link will be down in the description. And last but not least, tip number seven, walkthroughs. When I represent my clients in the purchase of a new construction home, I do two walkthroughs. The first walkthrough is happening two or three days before the closing date. I give them a roll of blue painter's tape and uh, just let them go and look at the house and find every little imperfection. I'm talking about scuff marks on the wall. I'm talking about nail holes that were not filled. You have all the rights to ask and expect to have the house brand new. And this first walkthrough ensures that you catch all those little imperfections and give builder a couple of days to address those issues. And then the second walkthrough happens um, either the night before the closing or the morning of the closing date. And you just go, go back and make sure the builder addressed all those uh, little things that you marked on the first walkthrough. Everything looks good to you, everything looks as it should be, and you're ready to close. I hope you found this information useful. Happy new construction hunting. Make sure you find a realtor who had previous experiences with new construction. And if you can't find anybody, I'm right here. I will see you next time.